You do brownswire.com. You also are the managing editor for lionswire.com, which brings me to uh, your knowledge of what the Browns got in defensive coordinator uh, Jim Schwartz. I, I know you know him. I know you know him well. Uh, what are the Browns getting with Jim Schwartz? They are getting a no-nonsense, um, got to be politically safe for work here, um, butt kicker. Uh, he is a he is a motivator, a motivator extraordinaire. He is a uh, he's a guy who's going to let you know if you're not doing something right, and you're going to know that you know you're not doing something right. He is he is not the greatest player development guy. He's not the greatest tactician, although I think he's pretty good at it. He's really good at getting the most out of guys who respond to him, uh, and he's got a way of understanding. Um, he, he gets. He gets a little bit of a, a bad rep for being like, like sort of cross and, and maybe not necessarily cerebral. He's actually, he's a brilliant guy. Uh, if you talk to him off the field about things other than football, you're going to see like, wow, this, this guy graduated from Georgetown near the top of his class. He's a very, very bright guy. He is analytically driven. He was one of the, the forerunners of that actually. When he was in Detroit, he was a little ahead of his time in terms of, of uh, using analytics and incorporating that into your game plan. But uh, he's he's a guy. He's and what I like most about it is he's going to be a guy that is not going to sit idly if something bad is happening. He's going to take action for it. Uh, he's going to. So it uh, it sounds kind of like some reaction to it. He's going to, he's going to be proactive. You know, we haven't seen that necessarily out of out of uh, out of the Browns Cubs or, or some of the other guys. I think you're seeing a guy that's going to have a a more uh, proactive influence on Kevin Stefanski and on the, on the Browns defense. I think that's, I think it's needed. I think he's a jolt of energy, both positive and negative that, uh, you know, can sort of balance out where the franchise is at. Cause they're, they're sort of listless is, is sort of the sense that you get in, in watching their defense. And I think he's going to give them a real identity and something that the players on there can embrace and wrap their, you know, their fingers around and, and say, yeah, I got this coach. Let's go. Um, it the thing that you hear from people that have played for him um, communicates well, tell you, tells you what he expects, but you better give him what he tells <laughs> When you have discussions, he's going to hold you accountable. Oh, 100%. And he's, he's very big on that. And uh, he is, so he's one of the guys, uh, he didn't like when, when he had some interesting care, he, he would coach in Dominican Sioux, um, who is a uh, notoriously truculent player, very incredibly talented guy, still is by the way. But uh, it's not the easiest guy to get along with. And they found a way to make it work because they had the same goal. And I think if you realize that Jim Schwartz, if you're a player, he's trying to get you to be the best player possibly that you can be. And that out of that will come winning. You're really going to like Jim Schwartz. If you're somebody that's going to take it personally and think that, you know, he just is, you know, hating on me because I'm, you know, not doing this right or, or you know, I'm not his guy, uh, that's probably not going to work too well. From what I know of the Browns guys that are in that locker room now, I don't think that's going to be a much of an issue, but it is something that you have to look for when you're bringing guys in, uh, specifically in the draft and free agency, uh, because he, he is not the best coach for everyone. Uh, we learned that in Detroit. You saw that in Buffalo the year that he was there. Um, he's great with some guys, but there are guys that are going to get it repelled by that. And I think the Browns are going to be able to sort that out pretty quickly. Um, that's one of the things with Jim Schwartz. You always know where you stand with him. Uh, and uh, you'll find that out very quickly too. He, he is not a guy that uh, gives up on first impressions easily. Uh, that's 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 actually one of the ways that I, I got to know him pretty well. So uh, uh, I made a good first impression on him, and it helped me. Uh, there were some others in the Detroit media that didn't so much, and uh, he kind of gave them the cold shoulder, and they treat him a little bit differently. So uh, for all of you guys in the media out there, be, be a little careful with Jim Schwartz. Uh, so far, so good. But uh, you know, keep, keep your eyes open.